Tell me, Edwin, how did you get into music? My mom got me into music when I was about four years old. She started teaching me uh, some of the nursery rhymes kids learn at that age. And two years later, I started lessons with Miss Gladys Whale. And she taught me through the Royal Conservatory system up until grade nine. What kind of music were you listening to then? All that time I listened to classical music. My parents would have it on in the stereo at home when we were driving back and forth to Florida. We'd listen to Beethoven, uh, the uh, Pastoral. We'd listen to the Jupiter Symphony by Mozart. Every uh, Sunday night, I would listen to a CBC program. And uh, my beloved father would play a piece by Puccini as the theme. And I would cry every night. <laughs> After I saw the movie about the Strauss family, I fell in love with the music of Johann Strauss Jr. and the beautiful waltzes he wrote. Of course, when I got to be about 16, uh, the hormones kicked in and 
Led Zeppelin became a focal point uh, for my uh, escapades. Uh, at that point, I got into Jimi Hendrix, too, and uh, eventually the blues, like Muddy Waters and Buddy Guy, and then rhythm and blues, like Aretha Franklin and Donny Hathaway. And uh, it was a tumultuous time for me, but it was also a time where I was figuring out what I wanted to do. And what was that? It was to write songs. After I left my uh, parents' house, uh, soon after, I went to Vancouver. And uh, I was on the streets for a while there, and the street people actually inspired me to write songs about them. When I came back, I realized I had to play music a lot better than I was doing at the time. And so I joined some local bands and then eventually studied music at Concordia University. And although the program didn't really agree with me and I finished my master's degree in history, I ended up playing music with some of the best musicians in Montreal. And so I learned from them while we were actually entertaining the audiences in the club scene. <laughs> start writing your own music? Uh, when I went to Vancouver. That's when I realized that, uh, that uh, there was something inside me that had to come out in that, in that regard. And so the music that uh, I wrote at that time didn't get performed, but it always inspired me to get together a band that would do that. So in 1993, I formed Edwin and the Bedouins. And for the next 10 years, we toured in central Canada. We were quite popular there. And we performed a mix of covers and originals, but with a heavy emphasis on, on those originals. We released our album in 1996. And uh, we don't play together too much, but uh, we actually released another album in 2006, just after our 10th anniversary. And uh, we get together on special occasions. Mm -hmm. 